Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Andrew Chan. 让我们欢迎英特尔公司企业技术事业部副总裁兼英特尔研究部门总监钱安达先生。Thank you. 你们好，早上好。Let's look at photography. We've had dramatic transformations in the photography area. We've gone from plates. Yeah, there used to be plates before there was film. There was film. You used to buy it on these rolls, and then there were canisters. And all of that came before digital photography. And in digital photography, we've gone from a few hundred thousand pixels to millions of pixels, now to tens of millions of pixels. But the largest transformations may be yet to come. So to tell us about these transformations, let's welcome Dr. Ren Ung. Ren, welcome. Andrew, thank you. Great to be here. Ren is the president and CEO of Refocus Imaging, and he's a recent graduate of Stanford University. So, Ren, tell us a little bit about this new company you have, Refocus Imaging, and what you guys are doing. Thanks, Andrew. Well, Refocus Imaging, what we're working on is light field photography. Light fields are the next transformation in digital photography. At Refocus, what we're doing is developing light field cameras that capture not just a 2D photograph of、uh, the pictures that you want to take, but instead the entire light field is recorded as it enters the camera. With the full light field, we can enable new photographic capabilities that we thought were impossible since the very beginning of photography.、Uh, more than that, we can also scale the performance well beyond what is capable with conventional digital cameras of today. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> Let's see you do it. Sounds great. What I'd like to do is bring out Michael Su, photographer.、Um, Michael, welcome. And Michael is going to take some light field photographs、uh, for us right here on stage, and we'll throw them up on the projector、uh, and take a look at them. Michael's holding、um, a, a light field camera, a prototype camera from our company,、uh, and it has a telephoto lens on it. But it works equally well with interchangeable lenses on it. Michael, Michael is a popular photography photographer of the year and has been pioneering、uh, light field photography applications with us. So it's been a lot of fun. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's、Perfect. pretty exciting. Thanks, ladies. Thanks, Michael. So Michael and Dana just need a minute to get the pictures up on the projector for us here.、Uh, so let me tell you a bit about light fields while they're doing that. So here's a diagram of a scene that you might want to take a photograph of.、Uh, and on this next slide, what you'll see is the light field. The light field is a set of all the individual light rays that come off the scene, and the light field is what produces any photograph. So if you configure your camera differently, you get a different photograph of the scene. What we're doing with light field cameras is to record the light field itself, all these individual rays,、uh, and that will allow us to bring these new capabilities and scale the performance. So instead of just collecting a set of pixels, you're actually collecting this whole vector field. Exactly. That's pretty exciting. Exactly. And what we do is we process the vector field in order to implement the physical functions of the camera and lens system. That's the name of the game here. What we're doing is turning. Camera hardware into software, and that's a really powerful transformation that has two important implications that I want to describe. The first is that by turning hardware into software, we're going to eradicate some of the physical limitations of that hardware, and that's what allows us to have these new capabilities that we always thought were impossible. We'll see some of those up on the projector in a bit. The second is that we can bring the economics and power of Moore's law to the camera system. And allow us to scale the technology of camera systems well beyond what we have today. Wow! So you're saying that it's better to implement the physics in software than the physics in physics. That's、Absolutely. amazing. Absolutely, it gives a lot more flexibility. Cool. So here is a picture that Michael just took.、Uh, what you can see is that it's focused on the girl in the middle here, and、uh, the model in the foreground and the background are out of focus. They're out of the depth of field. And what we can get is that we can、uh, refocus the picture after we've taken it onto the girl in the foreground, or all the way onto the girl in the background.、Uh, and we can do this by implementing the physical functions of autofocus motors now as software. And of course, you can see because of the confetti that that's the picture we just exactly, took. and it's just frozen in time, so it's one shot. We can also make everything in focus at the same time by implementing the.、Uh, The physical functions of the lens aperture as a software module. Great. Do you have any other photos you can show us? Yeah, we do.、Um, 
Let me show a short slideshow. Thank you. Thank you. Here's a couple more pictures that were just taken on stage. Oh, those look great. And here are a few pictures from a short trip that we took to Hangzhou a couple of days ago. And what you can see is that the ability to focus a picture after the fact lets you tell new stories with your pictures, what you want people to look at, in addition to just making it much more convenient and easy to use your cameras. That's great. That's really a pretty fundamental change. I mean, you're moving from a 2D capture to capture of a full, excuse me, I need to go back, <laughs> of a full uh, vector field. Exactly. So there must be all kinds of new applications this enables. Can you tell us about a few? Sure thing. Uh, let me just uh, touch on, we've already seen the implications for cameras a little bit. And I think you know, from the projector, you can see some of the implications for what software will give you. Let's just touch very briefly on lenses, uh, video, and scientific applications. When you have a full light field, uh, you can implement a new generation of lenses that has much higher performance. I think photographers are going to be really amazed and excited about the changes that we can have in cameras, that, uh, in lenses, that let them become lighter and cheaper, yet have more powerful and more powerful uh, a zoom and more powerful sensitivity to light at the same time. Scientific imaging is another area that's going to transform. Uh, at Stanford University, Professor Mark Lavoie is uh, researching uh, light field microscopes. It turns out that with one shot through a light field microscope, we can compute a full 3D volumetric model of the specimen uh, with that single instant in time. It's just really amazing stuff. That's really remarkable. And that's a great example of how Renee just said, software unlocks the power of hardware. It really does. Thank you very much for joining us, Ren. Thanks, I'm very Andrew. excited to hear about this. Pleasure.